It did it! Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're gonna to be going through some good old fashioned British A roads. So they're gonna be windy, they're gonna be a little bit tighter places, the lines are gonna disappear, and they're gonna be of slightly poor quality. But the video should stand tall and should show how well version 10 is working on these kind of roads. Now, in the last video, I showed you how badly version 10 is working on some roads on Navigate on Autopilot, which currently it is. It's really not doing that well on them, uh, which is a, a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a shame. Whereas on these roads, it seems to have got a lot better. Like really it does. It seems to be a lot more solid on these kind of roads uh, and work a lot better. You can see there, it was picking up actually uh, the middle of the island markers, whatever you call them. It actually saw them as cones. You see this thing here? It saw that as a cone a second ago. Okay, but it didn't this time. Of course it didn't because I'm talking about it. Why, why would it try and prove me right, I guess? Okay, we're coming down this way. Again, of course, it can't do roundabouts or anything like that yet. Um, and it is quite busy, so I'm not gonna let it try and do roundabouts or anything like that, unless it's really quiet. Actually, with that being said, <laughs> there's actually no one around me, so I could give it a go at this one. Try and bring this all the way down. I just wanna see what the car again is gonna do at a roundabout. I haven't tested this on the new update. There's no one on this roundabout, so I'm just gonna give it a go. And as you can see, the car, it did it. It absolutely did it. It, it aborted, it aborted at the end, and I had to take over, but it did it. So there we go, roundabouts are close, I guess, maybe. Uh, it was able to navigate it, and it went the right way. I honestly thought it was gonna go left, um, or continue going right all the way around the roundabout, but it did neither and it was solid. Okay, so I want it to smoothly break about now. It's still not breaking, still not breaking, still not breaking. Now it's breaking, that's way, way too late. Way too late. It's gonna flick between the two lanes here, yeah. And it's trying to push past this car here. I'm not sure which way I'm going. I'm going left, there's no one behind me, there's no one else on this roundabout. So that was fine to do. There we go, back on. And again, on these roads, there's not gonna be obviously any problems. It is picking up the other cars, funnily enough, and now it's not. As soon as I said that, it decided not to. And there's lots of debate whether it's just showing cars and vehicles it thinks it needs to or it's interested in. I disagree with that um, because it sometimes shows cars out of nowhere and then, you know, it doesn't. It's, it's completely random and I can't quite figure out just yet uh, what it is that it uses to try, to try and figure that out. Okay, so we're turning left here and I'm intrigued to see what the car does. Again, there's no one behind us. Sorry, my camera died, it overheated again. I think for some reason when I'm recording in 4K, 60 frames per second, the camera overheats. So I just had to open my windows and blast it through with some nice cool air. Hopefully that'll work for the rest of the journey. I had no idea that it stopped either, so I'm sorry about that. Anyway, we're back onto our A roads. And this here is a road that I actually do a lot um, up to where we live. And this is really, really windy. Now, it is a 60 down here, but 50 is more the general speed that people go. But as you see there, we're braking quite hard. Uh, and the people in front are only going around the 45 mile an hour mark. So this could be actually pretty good. And we might not need to come off of autopilot uh, by the time we get all the way back home. And that would be really quite impressive. It's only ever done that once. Uh, and that was very, very late at night when I was driving at 40 miles an hour by myself on autopilot. So I had it set uh, to 40 miles an hour. So we're currently set at uh, two car lengths behind is well, sorry, two seconds behind or two, whatever that measurement is. But it's corners like this where it, it had a problem before. But you can see there, it's actually really nice and it does it and it doesn't, doesn't even come up with any errors or you know, it doesn't scream at me saying that we might die. It's just quite successful at doing normal country roads now, which is really nice. And again, compared to the full self-drive video I did um, the other day, this here is a lot more solid. Uh, as you can see, it's just not really worried. It's not panicking or anything. It still does some late turns like you saw just then where I would refer to it have turned earlier or maybe just to slow down a little bit. But it still got us around the corner, which is obviously the most important thing. Now we are losing the car in front a little bit who I was hoping would help us slow down for these corners, but I'm intrigued to see Will the car slow itself down? Because I've driven down here on autopilot loads of times. 
Yeah, it's slowing itself down early now. It's going slightly too wide there. It was just a little bit too wide. Nothing too crazy, but again, because I'm not in full control, it feels so much further over than it really is because you're like, oh, I would never go that far over, but the car does sometimes. Again here, another corner that I would hope it just kind of slightly starts to slow down for before we get to it. But as you can see, cars happily drive through here at 50. Okay, he's braking, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull it down to 40 just for this corner. Yeah, this is a tight corner. Oh, lordy. Yeah, it wants to brake, and it actually brought us all the way down to 34, I think that was. I think 34 was the lowest I saw. And then it does this corner okay. You see, so when I was at 40, it did brake quite hard back there, but it got around the corner because I was already only doing 40 miles an hour. So it is all about the speed. That seems to regulate it quite a bit. But again, this is as windy as roads really get. Like, if you've got more windy roads than this, that's pretty insane. Coming into a 30 here, which we need to slow down for. Because the car's not going to slow it down for. Yeah, it feels weird that this is a 30. It does go into like a little cornery bit here. And again, the car never, never, even a 30, never used to be able to do this, all these corners here. Watch it do this flawlessly, like seriously. You can also see that it does show double lines there. Um, it's not showing the car behind us, interestingly enough. It did show the cars on the other side of the screen. Right, go away. But it's not showing the car behind us, which is really strange, actually. And then we got a bus. Is it gonna see the bus? Is it gonna show us a bus? Nope, no bus. But there is a car apparently. So yeah, you see, sometimes it sees some things and sometimes it sees other things. It's a little bit hit and miss, but it's done that little windy bit with no problems at all. And this is the only problem. You have to come fully out of the 60 before the Tesla wants to start speeding up. And it's a little bit slow at getting going. Like, it just needs to just shift a, a, a tiny bit more. We're gonna put, bring it up to 55 here because I want to catch up to the cars in front so that I can use their speed to regulate us and everything. I'll pull it down to 50. So previously here, because there's no line on the left, it used to go slightly down there, but now it doesn't and it continues around the corner. You can see the autopilot is limited. That's our shitty EU, uh, EU laws. Uh, and regulations still coming in there, or UN laws in the regulate, whatever it is, um, that's stopping us from doing those tight turns. I'm actually gonna bring this up here to 60, which is the speed limit. I'm hoping the car slows itself down slightly for this corner. Uh, no, it didn't Didn't slow itself down. It didn't need to be totally honest. It, it, it did do the corner at 60 without a problem got some traffic cones here and it is showing up on the screen that's good good to see and then i'm gonna have to bring this all the way back down to 50. so obviously this isn't self-driving itself I'm, I'm regulating the speed i'm doing all of that kind of stuff quite a tight one for it yeah you see it had to slow itself right down there to 38 38 was what it needed to get down to before it was able to do that corner And then it looks like we're coming up to some roadworks up ahead. Yeah, we've got some roadworks here, which again, I'm intrigued just to see what the car's gonna do itself. And hopefully we haven't got anyone behind us. So fingers crossed it does this correctly and it doesn't just go straight. Um, oh, they're letting us go. Okay, it's a person like that, okay. And interestingly enough, again, none of, no humans. Oh, there's a, can, we, can it see that cone? It didn't see the cone. It didn't see the human, but it did see the van, which again is interesting. I would have thought it would have showed us, uh, showed us the humans on the side of the road, but it didn't. It just showed us the van and it didn't show us the cones on top of the van, which I still think would be so cool to see. It's doing this really nicely. It used to like lurge in here and then back out. But as you can see, oh, it, it does it very slightly actually, but it doesn't do it as hard as it used to. It used to be, um, yeah, pretty abrupt actually at that bit. Okay, this guy's turning left here. So how's the car gonna deal with this? 
coming to a very hard stop. Oh God. And then it, it kind of did it like a little bunny hop and then it slowly accelerates again. And it's starting to bring us back up to speed. I'm gonna bring it up to 50. So again, they're a little bit on off and I think it was maybe because the other cars were poking their nose over the line. It was just a little bit hesitant about it and it didn't like to fully commit to go around the corner and, and think the road is safe. And deals with that corner really nicely and shows the other cars on the other side of the road. So I'm not sure. I would like some clarification on whether it, sh it should show all cars or it's just showing cars it can see or it's just showing cars it knows what type of car it is, if that makes sense. Through here as well, no problems at all. And we're coming to the end of my journey because I'm nearly home, Woohoo! which is great. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this showed you how good Autopilot 10 is on A roads where it used to really struggle. Uh, even areas like this before would be really quite hectic to go through, whereas now I don't think twice. And auto steer is absolutely great at going through all of these areas. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, drive safe.